Hey guys, welcome to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in the application Adobe InDesign. Uh, I'm going to do a brief tutorial on how to use frames and what are frames. Uh, frames uh, allow you to place images in a set area. So what that means is I have this wonderful picture of this dog here on my desktop and I'm going to go ahead and preview it on my desktop. So as you see, here is a big image of a dog here in the field, okay? And I want to place it in my InDesign project. Now, as you can see here, I've got two different sizes of this image and I'm going to show you how I did that, okay? Uh, frames allow you to set a frame in which you can manipulate the picture to make it fit the frame. So let's say you just have an area in the corner or the center or the bottom of your project that you want to have a frame in, you can do that. Now, where is the frame tool? The frame tool right here is right here in kind of the middle of your toolbar. It is the It says right here ellipse frame tool, but if you click and hold, you have a rectangle frame tool, an ellipse frame tool, and a polygon frame tool. We're going to focus primarily on the rectangle and ellipse frame tools for now. So let's go ahead and select our rectangle frame tool from the toolbar. Now, I want this image to set in a frame, and I want the frame to be about this big. Now, once you set your frame, okay, there we go. I've got my frame selected. Make sure you have your frame selected, okay? And then I'm going to go up here to File place. Now what am I going to place here? I'm going to go to desktop. I'm going to select the image of the dog here from my desktop and I'm going to go to open. Okay, now as you can see here, the dog image is not centered. This right here that I'm moving around is the frame itself. So that looks pretty cool there with the dog within the frame kind of on the right side there. But if I want to move my image around, okay, if I want to move my image around, I double click the frame. As you notice, the the alignment lines right here are the, the size of the original image. So what I can do now is, is I can take this picture and I can actually adjust where it's going to be in the frame. So if I go up here and shrink it, now you see this image is going to get smaller and bigger, but the only thing that's going to show is what's within the frame. Now I can even go down here to the corner of this frame and I can rotate this to be just like this and all you're gonna see is what's within the frame okay but I'm gonna undo that so once you have the image the way that you want it within the frame you then can go up here and you can put it the frame wherever you want it you can center it you can put it right aligned over here you can do whatever you want to do but the main thing you want to sit worry about is within a frame you can put an image and adjust how you want it. Now the last thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to go down here to this image down here. I have created a circle frame. If you go over here to your frame tool, hold down on it, go to ellipse frame tool, okay? I'm going to go ahead and delete the one that I have here, okay? I'm going to delete it. I'm going to delete that frame. I'm going to select my ellipse frame tool from the toolbar. I'm going to click and drag it. I'm going to make me a nice big circle there. And then I'm going to go up here to my select tool and I'm going to center this as good as I can. Then I'm going to go to file place, click on my image of my dog again, open it, and look at there. The image of the dog is within this circular frame. This is huge. It can make your projects look so much better when you have little designs in it, and you can even double click on it just like I did here, and you can shrink this to make it fit the frame however you want it. So now I have a nice little picture of a dog within a circle frame that I can put text around, I can add effects to, I can do whatever I want to do. So guys, this has been a tutorial on frames within InDesign. There are so much more you can do with frames, and I will uh, spound, uh, spound upon that in future videos. But this is just the basics of what you can do with the frame tool within InDesign. Thank you, guys. See you next time.